All right. So welcome, everybody. I know a lot of you guys will be watching this on the replay because it's just Beth Bullis and I on here. But I'm so glad Beth's here with me. And I was just telling her that I decided to do this very last minute. Actually, Beth, we do me a huge favor. Any threads that you're in, we just remind them in case they forgot. So this is very last minute. And here's why. So last night was my son's lacrosse game. This is one of my absolute. Hold on a second. My husband's asking me the funniest question. Bye. Or in the plural. Yeah. Okay. I have a really funny story before we get started. My husband, there's a guy at the country club that we belong to. My husband's a big golfer. And this one guy that works there is just so sweet. And Ryan has always like shared his testimony with him. And, and anyways, his wife is now pregnant. And so Ryan wanted to buy him something really nice from his registry. And he was like, so I bought him the most expensive thing on there. So, and for some reason, my husband's never ordered on registry before. And so he clicked, he must've clicked that it came to our house instead of to the guy's house. And my kids open up this box from Amazon this weekend and it is a breast pump. And so my kids are like all weekend, they're like, why does, why did you buy mom a breast pump? What's a breast pump for? I mean, it was the funniest weekend ever. So my husband just texted me, I need the breast pump. It's just like a weird, a weird uh, text message. It threw me off. So anyways, give you guys a laugh today. So last night, one of my favorite things about this business is the flexibility and time freedom, right? The financial freedom is amazing. Um, hello, Lisa. The financial freedom is amazing. The community is amazing. The products is amazing. But my favorite thing is the time freedom and that I can be where I want to be when I want to be there right now. Do I miss things sometimes with my family because I have goals and things I'm trying to hit? Absolutely. And will you? Absolutely. But last night was my son's playoff game for lacrosse. It's the first time his team has ever made it to the playoff. And so I was able to be there because of our amazing team. Hi, Natalie, because of our amazing team of layered leadership. And so thank you so much to Amy, Amber and Kelly for hosting the team huddle last night. But because I really wanted to um, share some sales training information with you guys, I decided to host my own uh, training today. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Natalie and Lisa and Beth for being on here. But those of you that couldn't be on today, I'm not like, I never want you guys to be stressed out. I want you guys to know that we always record things if possible, right? So this is recorded, watch it when you want to. And this will be a resource for you guys to come back to. So I want to start off first with some mindset training on sales tactics. Okay. Because here's the thing I want you guys to think about. And if you've ever been on our huddles before. Oh, and by the way, those of you that are on live, um, as soon as I'm done with this part about um, the mental part of it, right, of this of sales training about the mental side of it um, and what holds us back sometimes from having success in this area, then I'm going to go into step by step some things that I do personally for sales. And this will be, you know, 100% at the end for you guys to open up and ask questions. So if you have questions or if people on your team already told you things that they're struggling with, or you hear the same things over and over again, this is your time to ask on like, what would you do? Or how would you push through this? Or how would you close the sale with this approach, et cetera? Okay. So I just want you guys to know like kind of where we're going with this. Okay. So um, hold on a second. Let me just hit present. So if you don't want to forget what you're saying, feel free to put any question in the question box in the chat uh, feature. I just won't look at it until we're done with this part. OK, so I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about the mindset that goes along with sales. Right. Because if you're being honest with yourself, we're all in sales all the time. Right. And there became a point in our life where some reason we started to think that sales was icky or sales was pushy or that um, we didn't want to be a certain way. Right. But when you were a kid, you used to never take no for an answer. I want you to think if you're a mom, how many times do your kids ask the same question in 16 different ways to try to get what they want? And at some point in your life, you got to the spot where you heard no enough times or you were berated enough times or you felt guilty enough times or you felt dismissed enough times that then you put up an emotional block and decided, I don't want to ever feel that feeling again, right? But the reality is there's nothing wrong for asking with what you want, okay? So we're going to talk a little bit about that before we even get into how I close sales, all right? And I want you guys to, to look at this on your screen today. I am not my mind. I am a being who has a mind. I get to direct my mind, just like when you your leg gets to choose to kick the soccer ball or you direct your hand to give somebody a high five. That's exactly what's going on. You are a being who has a mind. OK, and so I want you. So let's take that one step further. If that's true, 
then you can direct your mind with the thoughts you choose to think. You are not your mind. I am a being that has a mind. This thing in between my ears is the greatest tool I will ever have, right? God gave us what's in here. God gave us everything, right? But we are not our mind. We can direct our mind where we want it to go, okay? So when you're feeling crappy, it's because you've been thinking crappy. Oh, I wrote it wrong. So it's to say, when you feel crappy, you are thinking crappy. When you feel abundant, you are thinking abundant. When you feel irritable or irritated, you are thinking irritable or irritated, okay? Are you guys following along with what I'm sharing here? Are you following what I'm putting down? Hi, Amy, you just joined us, so glad. Um, so think about that. When you start to feel irritated, Stop and think about what you are feeling in that moment. So before you start reaching out to people with sales, before you start working on your business, before you do your three, two, ones or your reach outs or your three-way calls, before I even get on a three-way call with you guys, I stop and I put myself in the right mindset because whatever I think is what ends up happening, okay? And your, and your mind does not deal in negatives. So what do I mean by that? My mind doesn't, if I say, don't be blah, 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 don't be irritable. Don't be mad. Don't be frustrated. My mind only hears the word frustrated, irritable, mad. So I have to retrain it. So if you're feeling off, I'm going to show you what to do today to get yourself back there. Okay. Because you become what you believe and your thoughts are going to create your own reality. So if you say sales is hard, and then we're going to walk through that one right there. Sales is hard, okay? That's your thought. So I want you guys to look. This is called um, a loop, okay? A thought loop. So here's your thought. Sales is hard. Then you go to the feeling. How does that make you guys feel? Think about it for a minute. When I think sales is hard, it makes me feel tight. I feel my shoulders come up. I feel nervous. I feel frustrated. So my thought was sales is hard. My feelings are all negative feelings. So what ends up happening with my behavior? I show up timid. I probably don't ask for the sale. I don't feel like I should be talking about that. I'm only gonna talk about the product. I'm not gonna talk about that they should order or that they should become a promoter. Oh my gosh, no, that makes me nervous. I'm showing up in a lower vibration. Like why would anybody wanna order from me, right? Oh, hi, Ashley. I'm so glad you're joining us. So we're talking about a thought loop. We're doing a little bit of mindset work before we get into um, sales. So you might want to go back and watch the beginning later. Um, but right now we're in the thought loop and the thought loop starts with the thought. And the thought right now is sales is icky. And then we talked about the feelings, right? Which were all negative, obviously, right? And now we're talking about the behavior, how I show up because of having those feelings. And then what's the result? I got no sales. So then what happened? I validated my own reality. I validated what I already said, which is sales are probably just not for me. This probably isn't the right time. I'm probably not good at this. I must not know the right people. You're just validating what you already told yourself, okay? So here's that example again. Sales is hard. I feel icky. I feel like I'm pressuring others. So I want you to think about that. That's the thought. What does that drop you into? What emotion does that drop you into? Then what happens? How do you behave when you feel this way? What, was, what results do you bring about then? And what thoughts do those results lead to? So how do we stop that? We stop that by feeding yourself the thoughts you need to think to be the person you need to be in any given moment. So if my thought is sales are hard, and I know this isn't going to be a positive thing because now I go over to my feelings and I'm starting to feel my, my shoulders are rising. I'm feeling icky. I'm feeling like I'm not going to have success with this. I'm feeling like I probably shouldn't reach out to that person because they might be annoyed and mad at me. I can stop myself and go, wait a minute, that's how I'm feeling. So my thought must also be negative. I've got to change the thought, right? So here's another example. I don't even know why I did this in the first place. Do people even like the stuff I put out? Who do I really think I am that I think I can do this? And here's what happens. A lot of people stop there. They go, oh, this is great. I'm aware now. I'm aware of what I'm doing wrong. So this is good. But awareness is, is a big part of it. You have to be aware, right? But it's not just being aware, okay? Awareness without a new choice doesn't help you get what you want. So you have to learn how to reverse engineer that thought loop that I just showed you. And we'll go through that in a second. Okay. But I want you to look at these questions on the right-hand side. What am I doing or not doing that's creating the result that I really want to make more money in my business? 
So think about these things. What action am I taking or not taking to get the result that I want? How do I feel about that? What's driving that thinking? Because we know you need to feed yourself the thoughts you need to think to be and to do the thing that you want to do. So the real truth is you can have all the sales funnels in the world. You can have all the sales strategies in the world. You can have every possible tool in the world, but you must work on your belief and your thoughts because you will never, never outperform or outfeel the way you think. You will never outperform or outfeel the way you think. And remember what we said over here, right? You become what you believe and your thoughts create your reality because your thoughts are what want to validate you to say that you're right. And guess what? We always want to be right. So again, it's our thought goes into our feeling, our feeling goes into our behavior and then our behavior creates the result. But you can learn to reverse engineer this. So if I'm down here at this behavior and I realize I just ended a three-way message and I didn't ask for the sale, or maybe I'm at the stands of my kids across game and somebody's complaining about how exhausted they are and I let the opportunity pass me by to share Thrive with her. I can go backwards, okay? I can go, wait a minute, here was the behavior. I didn't ask for the sale. Why? What was I feeling? I was feeling insecure. I was feeling like she wasn't even listening to me. I was feeling nervous. I was feeling like I wasn't good enough. I didn't know what I was saying. So what was the thought that I started with? Sales is icky. I don't like to pressure people. But if you listen to our team huddle last night where Amy Ann said, if you are not out there sharing, then you need to go back to your belief in the product. So what do I need to do here to change my thoughts? I need to work on my beliefs. If you're not doing some kind of morning ritual where you're working on your vision every morning, your affirmations every morning, whatever that is for you. For me, it's I wake up, I do my breath work. It's a five minute meditation. I go right into taking my capsules. I go right into reading my one year vision. Then I get up, I do my five gratitudes, my five prayer requests, my intention for the day and one kind word that I'm gonna send to somebody that day. When I'm done writing that in my journal, I read my devotion. After I read my devotion, I write my belief statements. If you find yourself going into this thought loop multiple times in multiple negative ways, those are your beliefs. You need to write them down and change them into what you want them to be. So if one of my beliefs, for example, is if I work hard, my cancer will come back. That's crap. People work hard all the time and don't get cancer, right? But for some reason during cancer, this thought loop came into my head. So now I write that in the morning. I change it to a positive. I am thriving and healthy while being successful. Working hard brings me positive energy and success. I am great at helping people start thriving. I am an amazing leader who brings in auto bonus earners every single month. Okay, now I share those with you very easily because those are my actual beliefs that I write down every morning. What are yours? It's just like saying affirmations, but there's something powerful in writing them down. So I'm going to challenge you. If you are having a hard time in sales, it's not about the sales. We have every technique possible for you on our team page. The company provides it monthly, almost a training on this. It is not from that. It is from your thoughts. It is from what you are believing in your own mind. And I'm going to challenge you to change them. Okay. So let's talk a little bit. I'm going to share with you guys a couple different things, and then we'll get into some actual examples, and we'll go through anything that you guys are personally struggling with or that you hear people on your team struggling with a lot, okay? This is my personal funnel that Kelly Hoover and I created for a group that we used to have called Blessed Mama Bosses. We used to have, a, well, we have a podcast, but we're on pause right now. Um, so this was something that we created for people who were asking us, who are not even on our team, like, how do you guys help people, you know, get get customers. So this is the funnel that we created. I believe every funnel starts with your own story. Your, so you need to get clear on your story. What made you decide to thrive? What did you notice day one, day three, day five, day 10? Maybe you didn't notice anything. Like Brendan Lure on our team, he didn't notice anything until day 26. His wife didn't notice anything until day 32. Everyone's going to be a little different, but you got to figure out what's your story. Okay. And then maybe have a couple other stories right? Like I like to make sure I have a male version of the story, a version of somebody who's lost a lot of weight, which I usually use Beth Bolas's story. Um, I like to have stories of people who, you know, are different than me, different ages than me. Like I have my parents, I have my story, right? And I have um, somebody on my team who's younger than me. So like having those stories will be very helpful. The second step in my funnel is to set up their free customer account. 
Okay. So have you gotten clear with how you do that? Do you know the verbiage that you use to do that? For me, it's, hey, I want to give you access to learn more. It'll help you to see the ingredients, to see all the different products that we provide. And there's videos. What's your email so I can get that set up for you? Next, I add them into our customer group. Okay. Do you thrive? so that they can see more things. And I tag them on something. Figure out what's your method with that. I love how Beth Bolas always introduces her people. Beth, for some reason, you're just on my mind today. Um, I love how you always introduce people in there. You're like, hey guys, this is so-and-so. She's, in, um, she's checking stuff out. She's really looking at maybe getting some help with losing weight. And then a bunch of people in our group will comment about how they've lost weight, right? Or how it's worked for them. So figure out what is your system for adding people into the customer group. If you are not familiar with the customer group, Get familiar because there's a ton of resources and guides. So maybe there's a story in there. Maybe there's a video in there that you like, and that's what you always tag people on. Okay. Next, offering the sale. So see this right here, we don't have three-way calls on here, but I'll tell you right now for me, this is where mine is. So I, I share my personal story and these two kind of are combined together, right? I set them up a free customer account and I put them in the customer group. And then I immediately put them in a three-way message or a three-way call. That's what I do. Okay, then I offer the sale because I'm comfortable offering my own sale. If you're not comfortable offering a sale yet, then you need to ask whoever's in the three-way message with you if they can do it for you. Okay, but I'm going to hope, hopefully by the time we're done today, you're going to feel comfortable doing it yourself. And then you're going to close the deal. Okay, now, if you can close the deal before getting them on a three-way message, do it. And quite often I do. Okay. So quite often it's, I share my story. I set them up a free customer account, add them in the customer group. Then I offer them a sale. Maybe I have a little discount going or something like that. I close the sale and then I put them in a three-way message. So they're excited before their product even arrives. Okay. I'm going to put this graphic on our team page. So don't feel like you've got to copy it. If you want to take a picture, you're welcome to. These are some of my all time favorite closing the sale lines. Okay, my favorite ones is usually offering some kind of options and asking if they're open. So a lot of times if you guys put me on three-way calls or three-way messages, you'll hear me say something to the person like this. So I'm really excited to share my story with you today and then explain a little bit about what Thrive is. And then um, you will have the opportunity to ask me any questions that you want. Does that work for you? Or is that okay with you? That's me giving them the reins to say, Yes, I'm open. I'm ready to learn about this. It immediately opens and expands them to really listening. Okay, but these are some other really great ones. Would you be open-minded to hear more about? I'm not sure if this is for you, but, right? So those are all really great ones. But when I'm ready to close that sale, I usually say something like, hey, I've got a couple options for you. Let's see which one's better. Okay, before I even get there though, my all time favorite one is if you could wave a magic wand for the next 30 days and change one thing about your body or your health, what would it be? Then they tell me I wanna lose 20 pounds. Great. So I have three options that you can choose from today to help you lose that 20 pounds. You can get started on a 30 day supply of the Thrive Experience. You can get started on a 30 day supply of Thrive Elite, which is more geared towards weight loss. Or you can go ahead and jump into the business and order and get started earning bonuses in your first two weeks by helping other people get started with you because it's way more fun to lose weight with a group of people, right? Which one is better for you? Okay, so I'm offering them different options. And then also, I love this sales statistics because it's so true. And quite often, how often do we talk to people but never actually ask for the sale? Or we talk to them once or twice and we think we're bugging them if we continue on. But if you listen to Thriver after Thriver that's hit 200K, millionaire, auto bonus, all the different things that maybe you want to achieve, so many times they talk about how they were asked over and over and over again. Elise reached out to me for six months. Okay. Uh, Janetta Joseph, 19 times John had to reach out to her, John Godshow. OK, um, so just be, you know, think about that. It's not the first time. It's not the second time. It's usually the 12th time or more that 80 percent of sales are made. So what are you doing daily and how many times are you asking for the sale? Because it's not that they reached out 12 times to just say hi. It wasn't that they just reached out 12 times to ask how their kids were doing. They talked about Thrive some way, somehow and asked for the sale. Because if you expect others to just come to you, it's going to happen one out of a hundred times. And that's if you're doing a really good job at attraction marketing. 
Okay. Attraction and marketing, you guys, let me explain this to you too, because I think this has gotten way out of control. And I was talking about it with Lindsay Coggin the other day. And I straight up asked her, I go, do people think that you just do three, two, one, and everybody just comes to you? She's like, yeah, people come to me in my messenger and ask, what do you do? Or what does that mean? Or, or they ask me a question. And then I start talking to them about Thrive. She's like, I get to know them as a human being, but I also tell them about Thrive. And I also ask for the sale. That's the part that people don't understand. Attraction marketing is marketing and it's a great way to market, but it is not sales. So if you're not asking for the sale, if you're not doing three-way calls and closing the sale on it, then you're just doing attraction marketing all the time. You're not actually doing sales, okay? All right, so let me get out of this and stop sharing and see if you guys had any questions or comments. And then we'll kind of go through that for the rest of this and go through kind of like what we're saying. Okay. Hello, Amy. I love that. Um, okay. Sounds great. Like cognitive behavior therapy. Yes, yes, yes. I have a hard time getting new accounts. Okay. So Natalie, let, let's, I want you unmute and tell me what are you doing right now to get free accounts? So Basically, if somebody asks me anything about it, whether it's a DFT or they, even if they're just, hey, what's Thrive? I'm always like, oh my gosh, it's like my favorite part of my day. It's my three steps. I would love to get you a free all access account. Would you give me your email? And most of the time it's through like Facebook or Messenger or whatever. And it's like, as soon as I ask them for that, and I don't say like, you know, your cut you know, I always say all access account but it's like I get ghosted as soon as I ask for that email it's like oh they shut me down so I don't know if it's like they don't they're afraid of spam in their mailbox or uh, I don't I don't know I don't know how to fix that part because it's like as soon as I say it's super simple I just need an email to get you started and you'll you know you can look at the information then I can't get I can't it's like okay they they won't answer anymore and then it's like Hey, can I get that email so I can get you set up? And, you know, oh. I'll, do, I'll ask them more than once if they ghost me, you know, for like, because yeah. sometimes okay. people forget or whatever. So okay. then I'll pop back in and be like, hey, just check in. Did you forget to send me your email or whatever? Okay. And then they won't answer. <laughs> and it's like, okay. well. I'm, I'm going to stop you, Natalie. Okay. So there were a couple of things that I heard in your voice. So let's go backwards for a minute and think about your thought loop. Before you start talking to them, what are you thinking? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. So um, maybe next time become more aware of it and see how you're thinking. Okay. Because what I'm hearing when you say, give me your email, like I would, I don't, that verbiage sounds a little icky, if I'm being honest with you. Okay. Like, so the, like, like I, more it, demanding or whatever. It sounds a little demanding, but it also sounds like you need my email. Like, I don't want to do something because you okay. need do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. be careful, you guys, because a lot of people do not know this industry. So take yourself back to when you didn't know this kind of an industry. So for me, that's pretty far back because I did jewelry before this. So how would I have felt before I was part of network marketing, direct sales, or any MLM business, right? If somebody said to me, I need your email, I would have been like, Pfft. if you can't tell me about your product without telling me you need my email, I'm not sure I want to be part of it. Okay. That makes so, sense. Yeah. And, and maybe that isn't exactly how you're saying it all the time, but it could be sometimes. So just be more aware of like the words that you're using. Right. So okay. if somebody says to me, what is that? Or what is that thrive stuff? Or what is that patch? Then I'm going to probably start with asking them questions as well. Like, oh my goodness, have you ever seen this before? Okay. So start engaging with them. Right. And if they go, no, I don't know what that is. Go, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell you more. And then I'll probably voice message and share my story with them. And then I say, would you be open to um, learning a little bit more? I'd love to give you access to see some ingredients, see some videos, et cetera. Okay. It's definitely probably the wording of how I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah. And sure. just being a little bit more like gentle, but I also really firmly believe, and this is why, Ashley, this is why that question you asked me the other day comes back to is like, I have the most success. And this is something I really want to challenge you guys to pay attention to is where are you having the most success? For me, I went back this last six months because I wasn't having success in the fall. I thought I was doing all the things and I wasn't getting any results. I was getting very frustrated with myself. 
And so I started being a little bit more like writing things down about what I was doing. And I was doing too many um, copy and paste messages for people or like utilizing boards or things like that and not letting people hear my voice. And what I realized is for me, and this might not be for you, but for me, I have the most success when they hear my voice. I must be because I get excited, because I get revved up. And guess what? I say something different every single time a little bit because I'm listening to what that person's needs are. So it's more directed towards them. So if, if I go, if somebody reached out to me on Instagram, for example, and said, hey, what's that thing you're always sharing in your stories? This just happened three weeks ago. I messaged her, but I don't get a lot of messages on Instagram. So that's why I can remember this one very well. <laughs> it's usually Facebook for me. So I was like super excited, right? So as soon as I saw the message, I stopped and I did a couple breath works and I thought about how I wanted to feel in that moment. I want to share with her because I'm going to help her feel amazing. I went to her, her went to her Instagram. I looked at her, her Instagram before I answered her. I saw that she was a mom. I saw that she had young kids. I saw that she owns a floral business. Okay. So now I go back to her and I go, oh my gosh, in a voice message, I'm so glad that you asked me. Mom to mom, every mama needs to be thriving. Have you ever heard of the Thrive Experience before? She said, no, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, awesome. It's my vitamin supplements. They keep me going all day. I'm so much nicer to my family. I sleep better at night. I have better digestion and I have no more headaches or neck, neck discomfort. Can you relate with any of that? So like, I didn't even do my whole story. It was like a quick little voice memo, right? And as soon as she said, oh my gosh, yes, you have no idea. I have headaches every single week. I'm like, gosh, it's probably from having to figure out everybody's floral arrangements all the time, right? Now, what did I do there? I related to her. Immediately, she was like, oh, she knows about me. And everyone loves for people to know about them and for people to care about them, right? So just taking that little extra step can be huge, Right. So then uh, I did end up getting her getting her email. I set up the free customer account and then I immediately reached out and said, hey, listen, I would love for you to go check this out, but I know you're super busy. So here's a video that kind of explains it really fast. And it's just that what is Thrive Experience video. I said, after you watch it, give me a thumbs up. I have a special coupon that's going to expire by Sunday. I'd love to offer you. So this is something also, guys, that I always do. I like to give a discount. Um, you know, when I got started, I did not have a discount. And so I don't think you need to have one. I just like, it's like a little extra push for me that makes it easy. And because I bought a promoter pack, I have promo codes right now and I want to use them before they expire, right? Because they expire in 120 days, which is like nothing. We think that's a long time, but it's four months come and gone, right? Goodness gracious. We're already in month four of this year. So I said to her, I have a coupon. It's going to expire by Sunday. Give me a thumbs up when you watch this video. She thumbs up. And I said, awesome. If you had a magic wand, it could change one thing with your body or your health in the next 30 days. What would it be? So I can customize your package. She told me, I told her she needed the three steps of classic plus balance. And I was going to give her $20 off if she could order by Sunday. Okay. Like that's just how I moved through. And I was confident with it. And then as soon as she placed her order, I ended up putting her in a three-way message because I got the sale. But if I hadn't gotten the sale, I probably would have put her in a three-way message with somebody just to validate what I was saying. Was that helpful, Natalie? Yes, that is very helpful. It makes complete sense. Okay, good. Okay, good. I have a new question. I was actually typing it in the chat. So yeah. because you said those... um. <clears throat> The promo codes, which I, I, when you said that, I'm like, oh, I need to check on those because I probably have some that are coming up on expiring soon. So, like, I know some people will make a post that creates a sense of urgency as, you know, like, because I don't know how many I have right now, but I'm just going to throw out a number. So let's just say I have five that are about to expire. So how do you, do you recommend, like, a post where I, like, try to create that urgency for the first five people. Cause I know like I've seen Ashley and Beth do it, but I am, I feel like I have a really hard time with call to action. And I know that that's like, that is something that I'm working on because I don't want it to sound spammy, but I also want you to like understand the value and I want you to like get the product in your hands. So mm -hmm. I'm just, I guess I'm trying to figure out because I've seen it work for some people. And then like, for me, it's like, I get nothing. So I'm trying to figure out how to do that because like, I know Brandon has codes right now and I have codes right now and I don't want them to expire. And I want somebody to be able to use them. Cause I'm like you, like, I love to get, give somebody a discount if I have it to get them started. Right. 
just because I know how good Thrive is. So, um, Ashley or Beth, do you guys want to comment on how those do for you? I personally have done them and you'll see me do them every once in a while. They never really do great for me. I don't know why. Um, I've tried a few. So here's my always my number one thing is if you see it working for somebody else, why not try it? Like literally Amber came to me yesterday with something and said, hey, this is working for Janetta. What do you think? I'm like, if you want to try it, try it. It's not going to hurt you. And my opinion is it's really your success really comes from what's going on in here. So if you think it's going to work for you and you put in the right energy behind it and you're excited about it and you put it out there, it will probably work amazing for you. It doesn't really line up with me. And I think that's why I don't get success with it. I'm more of an individualized one-on-one -on -one person. I'm more of an in-person person. It's why I'm working really hard on my mindset for Instagram and trying to grow that right now because it's not my authentic place. But if it's working and it's worked for others, you might as well go for it. So Ashley and Beth, do you guys have anything you want to add to that? I have had success with it, um, I guess, over the past two months. I've been using, utilizing that more. But I, yes, I put it on my page, Natalie, but it's those behind-the-scenes conversations that really are getting to the people that are um, are really, really interested. Um, because you do get a lot of minuscule like comments on your pages, but it's getting behind the scenes and having that one-on-one -on -one conversation to know what it is that they really need. And sometimes, yes, it is that coupon code that pushes them over. And sometimes you get in the conversation and you know what? They don't even like, it doesn't even go there. They're ready to go. They're ready to even get the plus line products. So you got to get in that one-on-one -on -one conversation with them behind the scenes to know what their needs are. And let's face it, what we what Thrive offers, people are paying four, five, six hundred dollars for in other in other places. So that's how I've been utilizing it. And I do have a question for you when we're finished on this topic. Please. Yes. That was awesome. And I just want to like, if you guys have not watched the team huddle from last night, it was really good. I haven't finished it. Yet. I'm like halfway through, but one of the things that Amy said, that was a really good aha moment for me, because again, I have that same thought loop guys. So like, I have to work on my mindset every single day too, um, is one of the things that I thought when she said that was how people go to the nail salon twice a month. I have friends that go twice a month. They get gel on their fingernails and their toenails. So that, that's gotta be 70 bucks. I mean, I can't imagine it'd be anything less more. Okay. Beth said a hundred. So let's just call it 70. That's 140 bucks a month. That's not helping their health. Actually, the stuff I've learned about nail polish lately, it's like damaging their health. Okay. So if they're doing anything, they're hurting themselves and they're spending all that money. So don't feel that way. So like that helps me when Amy said that last night, it was like an immediate, oh, she's right. Like it actually, I listened to this morning. So it was a new recording, but it made me immediately go, she's right. And I reached out to three people who I had not followed up with because I was being chicken. And I reached out to them and said, listen, there's a lot of things we spend our money on that are not healthy for us. I really want to help you get started on Thrive. What do you need from me to help you get started? Okay, so find those little lines that work for you. Things like I have, I have a few of them in my pocket. That's one of them. What can I do to help you get started? The other one that I love is um, give yourself the gift of 30 days. And the other one is what's holding you back from feeling your best. Okay, those are the three that are kind of like my go-to. Okay, the what do you need from me is kind of like name your price, right? That's when I have credits or, or promo codes I know I can use for people. What do you need from me to help you get started? And sometimes they'll be like, you know what? I just can't do 160. And I'm like, awesome. What can you do this month? Because we're going to get you started and then you're going to refer to people and then you're going to get your product for free next month. We have plenty of time. It's only April 11th. Okay. All right, Beth, your turn. I have two questions awesome. and it piggybacks off of what we've been talking about. So I've been, get, I've been doing a, a better job on getting the, uh, the access accounts, right? Getting people plugged into the system. And then, um, then I'm not closing as many as I want. Um, and so I'm not sure if it's that I need to get more accounts, but those people had genuine interest. So I got those accounts. That's my first question. Second one is, the three-way chats, when I get people in three-way chats, I'm finding that, yes, I'm getting lots of information from the people that I put the put them in three-way chats in, but then it just fizzles. 
Okay. Even so, with the follow-up. So, so my brain cannot the remember the first thing you just said when you went to the second. So let's do the second. Sorry. One. Sorry. That's just, I just can't remember. Sorry. Um, so let me, let me go with that one first and then we'll go backwards. So sure. the three-way chats. Okay. If you're connecting them, like Beth, the people that you're probably connecting them with might be like Josh on your team, right? You're probably connecting with other sidelines or people from your team. Correct. So mm -hmm. let's say you put somebody in a three-way message with Ashley. Ashley shares her story. The person seems really excited. And then you just can't get them. You just can't close the sale. The next spot is as soon as Ashley's done sharing her story, you want to say, wow, thank you so much, Ashley, for sharing that story. Melissa, can you see how what Thrive has done for me and what Thrive has done for Ashley and what it could possibly do for you? You want to ask some kind of open-ended question that they can respond to. And when she says, yes, I see that, you can go, great. Let's go over your options. We can go ahead and get you started on a full 30 days of Thrive Classic, or we can get you started on a full 30 days of Thrive Elite, which is more geared towards weight loss, or we can get you started on the product and the business at the same time, and you can earn money while um, sharing the product with others. Which one's better for you? See, by doing that, it puts it in their hands, and now psychologically, most people don't want to say no three times. So they're most likely going to pick one of those three options. Sometimes they go, I can't actually do any of those right now. And that's when I say, what can I do to help you get started on Thrive now? Okay. So you're just, you've got to ask some kind of question to close the deal. If you know specifically that Melissa was suffering with um, mental clarity and fog and Ashley brings that up and you can say, Melissa, did you hear in Ashley's story? She talked about her brain fog. That's a, literally what you're just talking to me about. Can you see how Thrive would help you with that? Right now they're like, yes, I can. Awesome. Let me share with you your three options. And you go over the options, right? And for some of you guys, Maybe one of your three options is a sample. I mean, it's totally up to you what you want. I try not to bring up the sample until they're like, you know, I just can't this month. And then I say, what can I do to help you get started? And then they say, I can only afford $25. I'm like, great, we're going to do a sample. <laughs> like, I'm not going to give you Thrive for $25, right? So um, Ashley, you have something you want to add to that? Yeah, um, Natalie, I wanted to go back to what, what you said and with the five, you know, offering for five discounts or promo codes or what have you. I've been doing it once a week um, for the past about two months like Beth. And um, though I may not get anybody responding or commenting on that, I've got a lot of people after the fact messaging me. Hey, I saw you had a discount last week. Is that still available now? I just got paid. I've had customers coming back that's been watching my content and not reacting. So it's almost like what was discussed in um, in our morning Zooms, Natalie, and also in the team huddle yesterday, is that you have to put it out there not attached to a result. And I think that's with anything. Like we were like, we have these promo codes. We need to we need to like get them to someone. We need to change lives. And that we're attaching to an expectation of what should happen. And then that will lead to being frustrated, being disappointed and upset. And so you just gotta, you gotta make the offer and that the right people will see it. So I've, I've been focusing on a statement that Flair has been talking about the entire time, been part of this team. And that is that you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. Okay. So you're opening the door and those that choose to go through the door will go through the door. So, um, I don't know if that helps Natalie, but that's, that's what I've been doing. And so far I've, um, it's been picking up a lot more lately because I've been consistent with it. Thank you so much for saying that. It's so true. You guys, that's like my sample link. I put it up multiple times a week. I think I've maybe had in the last 30 days, one person go for it, but it started conversations with other people who've seen it and come back and ask for it. Right. So they might not actually click the link. So I love that you said that. I'm actually going to challenge myself to do another post where I say five people again. Um, okay. Beth, going back to you, what was your other question? And did that help what I said? Yes, it did. Um, so I need the three options to, to close that, to bring it back around. It's perfect. Um, the second thing is I, again, I've, I've got, lot doing a better job getting the accounts right and i'm going back i'm going to my back office and i'm making sure that i'm staying engaged with these people haven't gotten them closed if i i mean if i close if i close 10 percent of all the free accounts that i had in my back office it would be like amazing mm -hmm. right i would be right there where i in, in grasp of that next rank that i'm looking at um 
So okay. the conversion. I've got a couple of things for that. So one thing I did last month, and you guys could totally do this today. So I just did it this morning. Actually, I took that email that Lavelle sent out about the Thrive Elite updates. And I had like four different people in their story. Have you guys seen that? And I screenshot it and just like took clips from each, right? So uh, about a month ago, I did the same thing when the Lavelle email came out with some of those again before. And I just simply went to my free customer accounts. Anybody who had put in a free customer account in the last 60 days since January. So now it would be 90 days. Um, I just went back to them and I sent them. I, if they had their cell phone number in Lavelle, I literally texted them and said, hey, this is Blair, your Thrive Girl. The results are in for Thrive Elite. People are having amazing results. Are you still ready to lose weight? Because I knew that most of the people that had given me a free customer account since January and now, it was because of Thrive Elite, right? They were checking out the new weight loss products. Um, and so, and I usually have notes if, if it's somebody like specific about something else. So, but most of those people, that's what they wanted. So I think I sent out, I'm mean, not going to lie about it. It was probably like 60 something text messages in two days. But out of that 60 something, I had seven people order last month. I had seven new customers between my account and Ryan's account. And that was because I sent out those text messages. And I just asked, are you still looking to lose weight? Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and then, um, so that's one way. Another way that's really helpful for your free customer accounts is going back to any messages that you might've had with them in the past. And instead of trying to revive the message, start a new message. That's something I've been doing lately. Instead of trying to like revive the three-way message, I go back to a personal message and I say, Hey, listen, I know that you were interested a couple of weeks ago in losing weight. Are you still interested? I have a discount for you. Or, hey, I know we talked a couple of weeks ago and you heard Blair's story and you said you really related to it because you need more energy too. And I have a discount. I want to offer it to you first. Are you ready to, to have more energy? Okay. So that's the second thing that I've been doing a lot lately. And then the third thing is going back through those free customer accounts and just connecting with them again, right? So engaging on their social media, reconnecting with them. And you guys, for everybody listening to this recording or on here right now, I don't know what's coming out for Thrive Palooza because I don't get any behind the scenes details. You know, we all get the same. That's what I love about the company. But I keep seeing the stuff about the skincare line going away and something new coming. And I don't care if, if somebody said no to me a hundred times in the past, when a new line comes out, that's completely different. I always reach out. So I have been, I just printed off, I should probably make a post about this on our team page, but I just printed off all of my customers, which are thousands for me. Cause I've been in business for eight and a half years. And, um, I'm going to be just looking through the list and trying to reconnect with some of those people on social media, uh, because they might want to try out our skincare line or whatever this new thing is that's coming out. Right. So it's just a great opportunity. And also, if you guys have updates on your elite, like Beth, I mean, you've done amazing on elite. So, and so is like Josh and some other people on your team. So you could be sending out updates like, hey, I know we haven't talked in like a month. I just wanted to update you on how my friend Josh and I are both doing on Thrive Elite. You know, something like that too. Thank Can you for that. That's please? very helpful. Yes. So this, this is something that I get a lot from people that I know. Um, I have, I know what I would say, but I would love to share what you would say. So uh, what do you recommend when someone has several people tell them no about the product or business and they just get super discouraged because they're getting so many no's from offering a sale? Yep. That goes right back to their thought loop, right? So their thought loop is, well, actually they need to reverse engineer it because here, hold on, I'm going to pull it up again. Let me hit share screen. Hold on. And you guys, Beth Graves is, was going to, is sharing on next Monday's team huddle. She was going to talk about like her sticky note challenge and things like that, like how to be organized with your people. But if you guys feel like she should just do a whole, a whole team huddle on this, she could like, cause she's been through this training too. So she could do a whole, like she could take people's actual examples and do it. So you guys tell me if you think that would be beneficial, but here's where I would go. I would say, okay, the result is everybody is saying no. So let's Blair, back it up. It bigger? I can't make it any bigger. Is it really small? It's teeny. Okay. I'll go back to the... Hold on. Oh, where is it? It's 
so weird. Oh my gosh, I can't find it. I don't know where it went. All right, I'm gonna have to hit stop share. We'll just have to do it ourselves. It might've gone. Sometimes when I'm doing a Zoom and I X out of something or I minimize it, it goes to like a different screen on my computer and I can't find it. Okay. Um. So we're gonna reverse engineer the, the thought loop, okay? So remember it went thought, feeling, behavior, result. So result is that they're getting a bunch of no's, right? So you back up to the behavior. What's the behavior? The behavior is probably if they are being honest with themselves and checking out their verbal and nonverbal cues. So nonverbal, they might be kind of like, oh, I'm gonna reach out to another person, right? And they're gonna probably say no, and this probably isn't the right time for me. I'm probably just not good at sales. I don't know the right people. My upline is just gonna be disappointed in me. I'm not gonna be able to hit this, okay? Then that's their behavior. So then if you back that up, well, what were they feeling to create that behavior? They were feeling doubt, insecure, like they're not good enough, like it's not possible. Then you go back to the thought. The thought is, I'm not good at this, or I don't know the right people, or I'm not good at sales, right? So we got to start with, what do I want the result to be? I want the result to be that I have sales and people that are interested so that I can have uh, fun in my business because I have people talking about how great they feel all the time. That's what I love. Like they've got to decide what they love, right, Ashley? So for me, that's it. It's like, yes, I love seeing that I'm a 200K leader. I love my paychecks. But the reality is my mental health is best when I have people thriving with me on this team and in my own world and my own customers and my own teammates. Like that's what makes me happy, right? Because I love that community, that environment of people having success in the product and the business. So that's the result I want. The thought that I need to think is, I help people to thrive every day. I help people to successfully have a thriving business. I help people to successfully feel their best. I help people to see the purpose and desire of wanting to be on Thrive. So like they really need to work on more on their belief work every morning, maybe creating five belief statements. If they're being honest with themselves about what the bad belief statement was, what was the bad thought? I hate to use the word bad because that's all relative, but you know what I'm saying, Ashley. So what was the negative thoughts that they're thinking about this business? Because if they're being honest with themselves, they've got to reverse engineer those, create five new belief systems and then create, okay, I am amazing at help people getting started on Thrive. I am amazing at helping people get started in this business and see success immediately. I love how I feel when people get started on Thrive. I love that I can close the sale with any single person that I talk to because they want to feel better, right? Then what does that initiate? What kind of feeling? I feel like literally just saying it made me feel better. My shoulders dropped, my, my chest opened. I felt abundant. I felt excited. I felt successful. So what do I need to do? I need to reach out to people with that energy. I need to talk to more people. I need to share my emotion. I need to share how great I feel. I need to share those stories of the success. Right. And then what's the result going to be? People are going to start ordering with me and they're going to start thriving with me. They're going to start following me because that's the way I'm showing up. And I think, honestly, it's very hard in this business to get people to understand sometimes that the negative things that are happening in their business really is just from here. Right. Because the truth is everybody needs to feel better. Everybody needs a solution. But we just get lost in this stuff and going down that rabbit trail. So that's the truth is that's what they need. And I think the encouragement can be, hey, listen, let's do some thought work around this and let's work on your belief statements. You know, do you really believe that you can have success in this business? Let's start with that. What are the thoughts that you're telling yourself when you're reaching out to people? What are the thoughts you're telling yourself when you're about to sit down and either pick up your phone or get on your computer to work your business? What are your thoughts you feel or think when you hear somebody on a team huddle who's having success, right? And then kind of, you know, work through that pattern with them. I just want to emphasize something you said, because I think, well, all of it's important, but there's one particular thing is you need to talk to more people. If you're talking to five people and two of them told you no, three of them ghosted you, um, you're not talking to enough people. Just because two peop two out of five said no does it's attaching to the result as well. You're expecting a yes from five out of five people. And that's just not realistic. Um, if you listen to everybody's stories here that's shared, 
in a multitude of ways, you know, Natalie, for example, she took five years to say yes. I took two and a half years to say yes, but because my, my upline didn't give up on me and just showed up regardless of my answer and my ghosting, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for that. So, um, had, had he stopped, who knows how many more lives did not get impacted because of my no. I love that. So, so true. And that's why Paul Gravette, and for those of you that are new watching this replay later, you might not know Paul as much right now because he's taking time off to be with his children who are um, growing up. But I'll tell you this, when I first started, he was more in charge of, of sales training and Jason was more in charge of products and behind the scenes. And one thing that Paul would emphasize every single sales training call was get 100 free accounts. Your business isn't where you want to be, get 100 free accounts. You just start in this business, get 100 free accounts in 30 days. And it wasn't because he's like, just go out and get get accounts. It was because of the natural a, a thing that happens in sales. Your funnel is 100 people. You got 100 people the information about the Thrive Experience. And most likely, if you're getting people a free customer account, you're either putting them in a three-way call, three-way message, or at least in the customer group, right? So they're getting a little bit more information. Now, those 100 people, as you start having more conversations with them, it starts to funnel down. And most likely 10% are going to say yes. Now, listen, when I first started, 20% said yes. Now I'm at like maybe a 5% because most of the people that I connect with now and get free customer accounts to, I don't even know them. I met them on Instagram or I met them on Facebook or I met them out at the grocery store. They're not close friends, family, warm market that trust knows and likes me yet, right? So they got to get to know me a little bit more. And that's why our social media is important. My social media isn't to like hope and pray that I attract somebody to just uh, like come upon my site, my Instagram, my Facebook. Mine is so that the people who I go out and meet, whether it's through Facebook, Instagram, or in person can find me, look at it and feel like, okay, I know her. I like her. And I think I trust her. So if she's told me about this product enough times now, I think I'm ready to order with her. Right. So that is what that's what you got to remember. So the number game is important because you've got to meet enough people to then see who's ready to run with you. Right. And there's different seasons of your life where, again, like maybe 10 percent, maybe 12 percent, maybe 20 percent, maybe 5 percent are going to say yes. And it's usually a lot of times it's connected with our energy and how we're feeling and how we're thinking and how we're behaving. Therefore, what are the results I'm getting? Any other questions, guys? I'm also going to put underneath this training on the team page, um, one of my favorite trainings on sales training by Danny Johnson. She wrote the book, um, Success, not Success Principles, Spirit Driven Success. I just love how she does it. Um, so I'll put that in the comments underneath this when I put this up on the team page as well. And if you guys are watching this replay, um, and it's in the month of April, not if you find this two years from now, but if you're watching it in April of 2023, I will keep coming back to this over the next week or two and seeing if you guys drop any specific things that you need help with in this category. And I'll try to um, either answer it underneath the comments or make a quick video answering it for you. Okay. Awesome. All right, guys. See you later. Have a great day. Happy Tuesday. In five minutes, we get paid. I'm putting, I have a post going up on the team page for everybody to comment under so that we can all um, use each other's interactions on our stories. Should be Thank a good you for this. Bye guys. Bye. Thank you.